The story goes, many, many years ago, a boy found a piece of gold in this creek here below me. And now, all these years later, you can come to Reed's Gold Mine and do the same thing yourself. In order to extract the gold from your pan, you have to make the mud. Gold diggers get a bad rap. But at Reed Gold Mine, you can literally roll up your sleeves and dig, or rather pan, for gold. Larry Neal, the site manager at the State Historic Site, had to help me out, but it was a successful mission. Oh, there's a little speck. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm rich. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, wow. How much is that worth? About 50 cents? <laughs> we call it ice cream money. <laughs> The gold panning part of the historic site is officially open for the season, where site employees take dirt from the nearby creek and walk you through how to find some gold. It's the very same creek that Neil says helped start the gold mining era in the United States back in the 1800s. This is the first documented discovery of gold in America. We were actually 50 years before California. Really? And it all happened because a 12-year-old boy fishing in Little Meadow Creek stumbled upon an interesting rock that huh. he took home to show his parents. Fast forward to 2022, you can check out this exhibit to learn the history, pan for gold yourself, and go inside an actual gold mine. This is what they were looking for right okay. here, the this white is the quartz good stuff. rock. For history lovers, this is a really cool spot, and it's a great way to get outside and do something different. Back in the 1830s and 1840s, North Carolina was actually known as the Golden State. Really? Mm -hmm. Well huh. before California, we wow. were the true original golden state.